welcome to Beaumont Middle School. Uh, first, I want to say thank you guys for being patient with us. Uh, it's been a few years since we were able to invite everybody uh, and all everybody, the family, family members, everybody wanted to come. And we realized real quick we used to have a different system where we brought the people out one side and brought you guys in the back side. Uh, so we apologize for that, but I appreciate you guys being patient uh, so that we can get everybody in here and everybody can recognize these uh, wonderful young people for what they've accomplished over the last three years. Uh, we are happy to have everybody here. Uh, like I said, we are excited uh, for what the future holds for these folks, and so we're, we're ready to start our program to recognize our pay setters, eighth graders. So I will now turn it over to Mr. Goff. Morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. All right. Um, I got a trip already. Okay. All right. Lila Hassel. Elizabeth Fernandez Aguiar. Andre Mitzwa Bedoya. Muriel Ivan Areño Sala. Chase Atkins. Campbell Bailey. Antoine Beeman. Will Berry. Camille Bowman. Luca Brainwater. Allison Burke, Dane Hammond, Brady Perry, Holly Carter, Eric Sheldon, Tanner Clement, Kiara Contreras, Lily Cunningham. Zach Pink, Leah DeBoe, Carla Diaz Mariga Sada, Sylvia Gamalek Dominguez, Darwin Dugno, Aaron Dewerson. Simon Eden. Yes, Simon! Ahmed Alperni. Angie Escarino Garcia. Andrew Scherz. Robin Gehaven. Kevin Gaitan Carrion. Yasu Gekana. Audrey Glass, Aaron Gonzalez, <laughs> Stephanie Gonzalez, <laughs> Pierce Gonzalez, <laughs> Tucker Hamilton, <laughs> Quincy Hancock, <laughs> Colin Luke Harris. Lily Hawthorne, JT, Daniel O'Keefe, Jacob Petrov, Blake Hill, Elise Hill, Colby Hobson, Hagen Hogan, Miranda Hoosier, Melissa Huff, Takanori Aikida, Emily Izabiri, Duarte Izabiri, Landon Johnson, Alan Jordan Flores. Oh, 
Sung Kim. Billy Kinham. Paul Calvin Dole III of Lexington, Kentucky. Caitlin Knox. Olivia K. Pulitzer. Kadeem Burapulu. Kuru Tiago. Jackson Lugers. Severina Lynn. Omkar Mato. Maddie McCrew. Lily J. McMahon. My grand self, Mejia Duarte. Gustavo Mendez. Luis Damian Resonario Garcia. Aiden Ford. Thomas Bunchley. Axel Munoz Ramirez. Jacob Diaz. Eli Nicholson. Ty Nicholas. Tyro Okada Chavez. Yosuke Okobe. Jessica Okigera Bedoya. Leah Faith Pierce. Madeline Henry. Ashley Perez. Brian Perez Colon. Piper Perry. Crystal Pineda Perez. Ben Cruz. Sarah Ratner. Philip Ritchie. Jonathan Ritter. Garrett Rosado Ocasio. Ron Rosado Medina. Blake Bob Salter. Maya Saman. Dr. Sanjay. Dylan Turner. Sabrina Steele. Jacqueline Shimabo. Victoria Smith. Ricardo Sosa.
All right, each year we're welcomed by our student council president, so it's my honor to introduce Ms. Caitlin Knox. that have excelled in different classes, and so we're going to start with our elective teachers. So Ms. Nair and Mr. Randall are going to come up. Mr. Bills, thank you, Caitlin. That was a great speech. Uh, I do have to uh, agree. Uh, there are so many great things in that speech. One thing is for sure, trying hard, trying your best is really going to help you in life. So always, always remember that. Try. This is um, one of the ways that we kind of judge uh, who we're going to give our awards to. Is uh, It's not just on grades, but also on effort and enthusiasm, people who go above and beyond. So, uh, you know, not, not all the world is about grades, but, but definitely trying hard is a major part of life. So keep on going, guys. We got to meet you on Zoom. So, that was a long distant memory. A lot of us maybe want to forget that. But you guys have really come through and really thrive. And we have enjoyed so much time. With, uh, the lecture get to see you in sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. So, really, really, we get to know you guys. And, uh, you've become part of our family and we love you and, and, and we know how much you have grown and we wish you all the best. Uh, so I can't wait to see and hear about what all you do in high school and beyond. So always come back and, and uh, give us some updates. We've had some visitors from high school this, uh, this week. It's been wonderful to see kids how they grow up. So we hope to see you guys. That is one of the best gifts you could ever give a teacher. Um, so, without further ado, our elective boards. If you hear your name, please stand up and walk towards Mr. Randall, who's going to be walking around and giving these things out. Okay. 
So in R, we have a certificate for Kirsten Hall. In band, excellence in uh, excellence in band for Zachary Kibbe. Sydney Haddle. I should also say, if you don't hear awards in a certain group, that means they were in the other team. Um, in orchestra, we have certificates of excellence for Thomas Mosley. And also for Prani Karapulu. goes to Zoe Zank. In Chinese, we have certificates of excellent work for Lily Cunningham. And also for Ashley Perez Salgado. A certificate of excellence for Zoe Zang. In Espanol, my certificates of excellence go to Lily Kidningham. And also to Alan Carriers. In English language learning, um, excellent awards go to Freddie Chavez Prado. <laughs> and to Emily Ingabire. <laughs> and the medal for outstanding English language learner goes to Cristel Pineda Perez. Travin Gahaker. In math, uh, in math class, we have the certificates of excellence for Luis Mercenario.
for an awesome class this year, and if I could give awards to everyone, I would. I'm going to give special awards to people that excelled in putting extra time and effort into their musical endeavors. And I'll start with an excellence piano keyboard for Aaliyah DeVoe. Excellence in piano keyboard for Eli Nicholson. Excellence in piano keyboard for Saka Sanjay.
Yeah. When you start putting letters in math, I start having problems. <laughs> All right. Uh, so our first one here goes to excellence in higher mathematics goes to Thomas Mosley. <laughs> and the other one goes to Andy Vash. Learning level one for science and history. Well, I had him for two years. We got to do an independent study this year. You got to take it. We basically talked and decided, hey, what do you want? And it worked out fantastic. And I am pleased and honored that I got to get to know this young man over the course of two years. So, Thomas Mosley. Excellence in Science, Juan Rostro Medina. <laughs> Another Excellence in Science goes to Praneeth Korapulu. <laughs> the learning goes to Kenley Piazza. Top one uh, for excellence in science uh, goes to Maddie McGrew. And just so everybody knows, she won the district science fair overall eighth grade winner too. Tomar un momento para decir lo orgullosos que estamos como equipo de nuestros estudiantes de inglés. En Cristina Graduante este año están preparados para la preparatoria. Gracias por confiar en nuestros convenios y por dejarnos ser parte de su actual grado. Thank you, Richard. 
Dr. Sanjay, William Clark, Nikki Jones, Colton Turner, Andy Bass, Kendall Lawson, Grant Legal, Michael Point, Sylvie Dang. Southside for Engineering Program, so I'm going to turn over to Ms. Tippett. The Southside for Engineering Program is the program where students have to apply and be accepted, and during the first semester of their eighth grade year, they get to leave Beaumont and go to Southside and participate in the program there, and then return to finish out their day. There were one pay setter who completed the Southside program this year, and that was Dylan Sherman. a set of awards that are very specific and special here at Beaumont. Uh, and Mr. Case is going to come up. He's going to give the Sylvia Carson Award and also the B.C. Simmons Award. I'll start with the uh, Sylvia Carson Award. Um, each year at Beaumont Middle School, we give the Sylvia Carson Mathematics Award to a student that excels in math. Math is a language of logic. It is a, di a disciplined, organized way of thinking. There is a right answer. It requires an analytical mind and the ability to think, think creatively. It has been an honor to teach this student this year in geometry. Day in, day out, this student has showed their ability to think creative, critically and get the right answer. This student has maintained an A average all year long, scoring 100% on nearly every unit quiz, topic test, Common assessment, district assessment. They scored a 290 on the spring math test, which is the 99th percentile of achievement in mathematics. The student has a very bright future, and it was a true honor to have the opportunity to teach him. The 2023 recipient of the Sylvia Carson Mathematics Award goes to Mr. Jake E. Next up is the B.C. Simmons Award. It's another, another special award we do here at Beaumont. Uh, I'm also the boys basketball coach, and this is a basketball award. Each year we honor B.C. Simmons by giving out the B.C. Simmons Award to a young man on the boys basketball team here at Beaumont Middle School. Mr. Simmons was a beloved teacher, coach, and friend here at Beaumont for many years. He tragically passed away in 1996, and we continue to honor his legacy with this award today. It's been an honor to coach this young man for three years. He has made significant improvements as a basketball player and as a young man. Every day at practice, he would push himself and he would push his teammates. He's an ultra competitor and never back down from a challenge. He's a leader on and off the court. Inside the classroom, he is a 4.0 student while taking the highest level classes, and he treats us, the teachers, and his classmates with the utmost respect. On the court, his basketball IQ, shooting ability, ability to handle the ball, and he was our second leading rebounder as a guard, which was huge for us. Um, it was an honor to coach this young man. He's a very bright future ahead. The 2023 participant for the BC Simmons Award goes to Mr. Brady Carey. <laughs> Next award is our Student Council Award, and Ms. Ben is going to come up and present it. Student Council is a student-run organization with the mission of creating student leadership for leading projects to increase student 
engagement and promote community service. The Student Council's President's Gavel is given to the eighth grader who most embodies this mission. It is my privilege to give this year's President's Gavel to Caitlin Knox. Caitlin has been instrumental in helping us fulfill our mission as Student Council President. She was in charge of planning and running our meetings. She led both our God's Pantry food drive in February and our book drive in April. She has also exhibited the qualities of a model student both in and out of the classroom by participating in both academic and extracurricular activities. Again, I would like to honor Caitlin Knox with President's Council or Student Council President's Gavel for 2022-2023. Next, we have some special team awards that we give each year here at Beaumont, so I'll turn it back over to Mr. Goff and the team. Mr. Thompson with a hand. <laughs> All right. Uh, we do a Mr. and Miss Pacer award, so I'm going to read out the paragraph and read something and then uh, you get the name. So. For Miss Pacer. We see this student in the hall, in the gym character or the classroom. She greets with a smile and a warm glow. She is not only well liked by her teachers, but also her peers love her too. She's a friend to all. She works hard in school. She follows directions, participates in class, and leads assignments to a high level, going above and beyond to what is required. Always. The pace that our team, pace our teachers, are honored to present this award to Ms. Caitlin Knox. For Mr. Paysetter, there is one specific adjective that describes this student, outstanding. He is outstanding in all that he does here. He is an outstanding student, always giving 100 cents to his classwork and assignment. He is an outstanding friend to many of his peers. With his <laughs> Sorry, he's got his top down alarm going off for the lunch is over. Um, he is an outstanding friend to many of his peers with his quiet kindness and positive attitude. It was our honor to have him on our team this year. Pace Center teachers present this award to Sir William Nathaniel Sparks the third <laughs> All right. Now for the Pace Center Humanitarian Award. On the Pace Center team, there was a student who identified humanitarian values all year long. The team has had the following to say about. Always works hard for the matter the task at hand. She does not require attention but deserves recognition. She participated in cyber security events and tested out of the EL program as well. She is always helping others without being asked, always taking time to make sure others get it and are doing okay. The base center teachers are proud to present Crystal Pineda Perez. Congratulations. By the way, you lost me two to one for July. Okay. All right, a few comments before we wrap up. Uh, this group, like it's been mentioned earlier, had quite a start to middle school. Uh, we had to learn Canvas, we had to learn Zoom, things that we've never even considered before, uh, and that have changed the way we do things moving forward. When I visited classes that year, some of you were laying in bed doing class, uh, some of you were cooking doing class, and some of you were doing all kinds of other things. Uh, but you were there, and you were doing the work, and you worked hard, and that's what's led you to be here today, is your hard work and dedication. It has been great to see you guys transition as leaders in our building this year, but also to really get to experience everything that middle school brings, whether that be school dances, pep rallies, or dance blue that you guys got to be part of this year. We're excited for your all's future, no matter where it takes you, where school you're heading to. Uh, we know there's going to be great things that you guys are going to be part of and achieve in the future. We're excited to hear about that. I've got a few thank yous. Uh, first, I want to thank you guys. The students at Beaumont are what makes Beaumont special. Uh, we appreciate you guys showing up every day, working hard for us, taking care of each other, uh, and making this place really one of the best schools in the state of Kentucky. We also want to thank the parents and families. They don't get to this point without you all. Uh, they, they need your all's support. Uh, you guys have been great team members in helping get them here, and so we appreciate that as well. And to the folks behind me, uh, we've got one of the best staffs around. 
They work, they're here early, they're here late, they work on weekends uh, to help make sure we get our kiddos taken care of. So let's have a round of applause for our kids. Lastly, like I said, we are, we are really proud of you guys. We're excited to see what the future holds. Uh, we want you guys to have nothing but the best in the future, and we hope you have a wonderful summer. Um, that will conclude our program today. Um, so I am assuming most of them are going to want to sign out here uh, in the next couple minutes to, to leave with parents. So here's how we're going to do this. If you are a student that is staying, you're to stay right where you're at. If you are leaving, I need you to get paired up with your uh, parent. Parent, have your ID ready. 